Many people believe that to stay hydrated, one must drink eight cups or about two liters of water daily. However, this is a misconception. Drinking water wrongly, either too much or too little, can harm your kidneys. The notion of drinking a specific amount of water daily is misleading because hydration depends on fluid intake, not just water intake. Fluid intake includes all beverages and foods containing water. This article provides tips on monitoring water intake for optimal kidney health, covering when and how much water to drink and the safety levels of different types of water. Firstly, drinking too much water can stress the kidneys. According to experts, consuming more than one liter, about one quart, per hour can be harmful. Overhydration or water intoxication occurs when the kidneys cannot filter out excess water fast enough, leading to dangerously low sodium levels in the blood, known as hyponatremia. Symptoms of water intoxication include confusion, nausea, vomiting, and in severe cases, seizures or death. People at higher risk of overhydration include endurance athletes, premature babies, and individuals with certain mental illnesses or pituitary disorders. Medications like diuretics, antidepressants, antipsychotics, and drugs such as MDMA can also lead to excessive water consumption. Overhydration happens when an individual consumes water at a rate that the kidneys cannot process. The kidneys, in their natural function, filter excess water out of the bloodstream and excrete it as urine. However, when the intake surpasses the kidney's capacity to eliminate it, the balance of sodium in the blood is disrupted. Sodium is an essential electrolyte that helps regulate water balance within and around cells. Normal sodium levels in the blood range between 135 and 145 milliequivalents per liter, MEQL. When sodium levels drop below 135 MeQL, it results in hyponatremia. Hyponatremia can cause cells throughout the body to swell as they absorb excess water to restore balance. The most dangerous outcome of this condition is the swelling of brain cells, known as cerebral edema, which can lead to increased intracranial pressure. This swelling can impair brain function, manifesting in symptoms such as headache, nausea, confusion, and in severe cases, seizures or coma. There have been recorded incidents where individuals succumb to water intoxication due to overzealous hydration during activities such as endurance sports or even as a result of water drinking contests. In 2002, a study conducted on marathon runners during the Boston Marathon highlighted the risks of overhydration. Out of nearly 500 runners studied, more than 60 experienced hyponatremia. The study recommended that long-distance runners estimate their water needs based on their sweat rate and thirst, rather than adhering to a strict hydration schedule. This advice is crucial for anyone engaged in intense physical activities, as overhydration can be just as dangerous as dehydration. Another study, published in 2021 in BMJ Open, surveyed 590 patients who experienced hyponatremia due to water intoxication. On average, these patients consumed approximately 8 liters of fluids daily. The severe effects of this excessive intake included seizures, coma, and tragically, brain damage in a small number of cases. Over 75% of these patients succumbed to complications associated with hyponatremia. These findings underscore the critical need to maintain balanced hydration. Drinking too little water can cause dehydration leading to kidney damage. Under normal circumstances, water loss occurs through sweating, breathing, defecation, and urination. Factors like physical exercise, hot weather, high altitudes, pregnancy and illness increase water needs. Dehydration happens when water is lost faster than it can be replaced. Older adults are particularly susceptible due to decreased thirst sensation, chronic health conditions, and medication use. The body's response to dehydration includes the release of antidiuretic hormone, ADH, and other mechanisms to retain water and maintain blood pressure. Chronic dehydration can lead to acute kidney injury, AKI, urinary tract infections, UTIs, 
and kidney stones. AKI can develop within two days of severe dehydration. To stay hydrated, it's important to drink water the throughout the day, not just when feeling thirsty. Studies have shown that increasing water intake improves kidney function, especially in older adults. For instance, a 2021 study published in Clinical and Experimental Nephrology found that higher water consumption was crucial for preventing kidney damage in over 50,000 Koreans. The body's mechanism to combat dehydration involves several complex processes. When water levels drop, osmoreceptors in the brain detect the increase in blood osmolality, the concentration of solutes in the blood. This triggers the hypothalamus to signal the pituitary gland to release ADH, which instructs the kidneys to reabsorb more water back into the bloodstream and reduce urine output. This mechanism helps conserve water and maintain blood pressure, but it can only compensate for so long. If dehydration persists, the kidneys will struggle to filter waste efficiently, leading to a buildup of toxins in the blood. In severe cases, the lack of adequate blood flow to the kidneys can cause AKI, which can develop rapidly, sometimes within two days of significant dehydration. AKI is characterized by a sudden decrease in kidney function, leading to an accumulation of waste products in the blood, electrolyte imbalances, and other serious health issues. In addition to AKI, chronic dehydration can increase the risk of developing kidney stones and UTIs. Kidney stones form when minerals in the urine, such as calcium and uric acid, crystallize and clump together. Staying hydrated helps dilute the concentration of these minerals, reducing the risk of stone formation. Similarly, adequate water intake helps flush bacteria from the urinary tract, lowering the risk of UTIs. Older adults are particularly vulnerable to dehydration due to a diminished sense of thirst, reduced kidney function, and the presence of chronic conditions such as diabetes or cardiovascular disease. Medications that affect fluid balance, such as diuretics, also contribute to this risk. Therefore, it is crucial for older individuals to monitor their fluid intake carefully and stay hydrated. Drinking too much water. Understanding the risks and mechanisms. Excessive water intake, commonly referred to as overhydration, can place significant stress on the kidneys. The kidneys are designed to filter out excess water from the bloodstream and excrete it as urine, maintaining the body's fluid balance. However, when water consumption surpasses the kidney's capacity to eliminate it efficiently, it leads to a condition known as water intoxication or hyponatremia. This condition arises when the sodium levels in the blood become dangerously diluted. Sodium is a crucial electrolyte responsible for regulating water balance within and around cells. Under normal circumstances, the sodium levels in the blood range between 35 and 145 milliequivalents per liter, MAQL. When sodium levels drop below 135 MAQL due to excessive water intake, it results in hyponatremia. This electrolyte imbalance can have severe consequences for the body's cellular functions. Hyponatremia causes cells throughout the body to absorb excess water in an attempt to restore balance. The most dangerous outcome of this cellular swelling occurs in the brain, where increased intracranial pressure can lead to cerebral edema. Symptoms of cerebral edema include headache, nausea, confusion, and in severe cases, seizures or coma. Tragically, there have been recorded incidents of individuals succumbing to water intoxication due to overzealous hydration during endurance sports or even as a result of water drinking contests. In 2002, a pivotal study conducted on marathon runners during the Boston Marathon highlighted the risks associated with overhydration. Among the nearly 500 runners studied, more than 60 experienced hyponatremia. The study recommended that long-distance runners estimate their water needs based on their sweat rate and thirst, rather than adhering to a strict hydration schedule. This advice is crucial for anyone engaged in intense physical activities, as overhydration can be just as dangerous as dehydration. Further emphasizing the dangers of overhydration, a study published in 2021 in BMJ Open,
surveyed 590 patients who experienced hyponatremia due to water intoxication. On average, these patients consumed approximately 8 liters of fluids daily. The severe effects of this excessive intake included seizures, coma, and in rare cases, brain damage. Over 75% of these patients succumbed to complications associated with hyponatremia. These findings underscore the critical need to maintain balanced hydration. Drinking too little water. The dangers of dehydration. Conversely, inadequate water intake can lead to dehydration, posing significant risks to kidney health. Under normal circumstances, the body loses water through various processes such as sweating, breathing, defecation, and urination. Factors like physical exercise, hot weather, high altitudes, pregnancy, and illness increase the body's water needs. Dehydration occurs when water loss outpaces water intake, leading to a deficit. Older adults are particularly susceptible to dehydration due to several factors, including a decreased sensation of thirst, chronic health conditions, and medication use. The body's response to dehydration involves the release of antidiuretic hormone, ADH, and other mechanisms aimed at retaining water and maintaining blood pressure. However, chronic dehydration can have severe consequences. One of the immediate risks of severe dehydration is acute kidney injury, AKI, which can develop within two days of significant dehydration. AKI is characterized by a sudden decline in kidney function, leading to the accumulation of waste products in the blood, electrolyte imbalances, and other serious health issues. To prevent dehydration, it is important to drink water throughout the day, not just when feeling thirsty. Studies have shown that increasing water intake can improve kidney function, especially in older adults. For instance, a 20 October this year, we are Potting 21 study published in Clinical and Experimental Nephrology found that higher water consumption was crucial for preventing kidney damage in over 50,000 Koreans. This highlights the importance of maintaining adequate hydration to support kidney health. The body's mechanism to combat dehydration involves several complex processes. When water levels drop, osmoreceptors in the brain detect the increase in blood osmolality, the concentration of solutes in the blood. This triggers the hypothalamus to signal the pituitary gland to release ADH, which instructs the kidneys to reabsorb more water back into the bloodstream and reduce urine output. This mechanism helps conserve water and maintain blood pressure, but it can only compensate for so long. If dehydration persists, the kidneys will struggle to filter waste efficiently, leading to a buildup of toxins in the blood. In severe cases, the lack of adequate blood flow to the kidneys can cause AKI, which can develop rapidly, sometimes within two days of significant dehydration. AKI is characterized by a sudden decrease in kidney function, leading to an accumulation of waste products in the blood, electrolyte imbalances, and other serious health issues. In addition to AKI, chronic dehydration can increase the risk of developing kidney stones and urinary tract infections, UTIs. Kidney stones form when minerals in the urine, such as calcium and uric acid, crystallize and clump together. Staying hydrated helps dilute the concentration of these minerals, reducing the risk of stone formation. Similarly, adequate water intake helps flush bacteria from the urinary tract, lowering the risk of UTIs. Older adults are particularly vulnerable to dehydration due to a diminished sense of thirst, reduced kidney function, mm -hmm. and the presence of chronic conditions such as diabetes or cardiovascular disease. Medications that affect fluid balance, such as diuretics, also contribute to this risk. Therefore, it is crucial for older individuals to monitor their fluid intake carefully and stay hydrated, maintaining electrolyte balance for kidney health. Electrolyte balance is vital for maintaining kidney health and overall well-being. Electrolytes such as sodium, potassium, and magnesium play crucial roles in various physiological processes, including fluid balance, nerve function, and muscle contraction. These electrolytes are lost through urine, feces, and sweat, and their levels need to be replenished regularly to prevent imbalances. During periods of intense physical activity, illness, 
or exposure to hot environments, the body loses electrolytes through sweat. In such cases, replenishing these lost electrolytes is important to prevent imbalances that can lead to muscle cramps, dizziness, and other symptoms of dehydration. Electrolyte drinks can be beneficial in these situations, but it is essential to choose them wisely. Not all electrolyte drinks are created equal. Many commercial sports drinks contain high levels of sugar, which can contribute to weight gain, obesity, and an increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Additionally, some of these drinks contain artificial additives and preservatives that may not be beneficial for overall health. When choosing an electrolyte drink, it is essential to read the label and select options with lower sugar content and natural ingredients. For most people, maintaining electrolyte balance can be achieved through a balanced diet and regular water intake. Hydrating foods such as fruits and vegetables provide water and essential electrolytes, making them an excellent choice for maintaining hydration. Additionally, drinking water regularly throughout the day helps ensure that the body's electrolyte levels remain within a healthy range. While moderate consumption of caffeinated and alcoholic beverages can still contribute to overall hydration, excessive intake can lead to dehydration. Caffeine and alcohol act as diuretics, increasing urine production and potentially leading to fluid loss. It is important to balance the consumption of these beverages with adequate water intake to prevent dehydration. Conclusion Tailoring hydration to individual needs. In conclusion, adequate water intake is crucial for maintaining kidney health and overall well being. However, the commonly held belief that one must drink eight cups or two liters of water daily is a misconception. Hydration needs vary depending on individual factors such as body composition, activity level, and overall health. Therefore, it is essential to monitor fluid intake including all beverages and hydrating foods, rather than focusing solely on water consumption. Overhydration or water intoxication can lead to dangerous conditions such as hyponatremia, while dehydration can cause acute kidney injury, kidney stones, and urinary tract infections. Maintaining a balance in fluid intake is key to preventing these issues. Electrolyte balance is also important and it is best to rely on water and hydrating foods rather than sugary electrolyte drinks. By staying informed and mindful of your hydration habits, you can protect your kidneys and overall health. Tailoring your fluid intake to your individual needs and considering factors such as physical activity, environmental conditions, and health status will help ensure optimal hydration and kidney function. Thank you all for taking the time to watch our video today. If you found it helpful or enjoyable, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to not miss out on similar content in the future. Share your thoughts in the comments section. We would love to hear from you. We truly appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.